Hey, what's up you guys? Really quick before the video starts today, I just wanna let you know that there is a brand new video up on the Psychic Twins channel where they uh, give a psychic reading to Andrew Reset. So go check it out, I'll put the link down there. Um, and they also give readings to a lot of YouTubers, Joey, Trish, uh, Lisa. So go check that out, subscribe, and enjoy the video. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, okay, I'm gonna start with the obvious. I have a beard situation, I'm sorry. I know you probably hate it, but I wanted to try it out this week, not for videos, just for like my real life. Um, you know, it would be nice to go to a store and not get called ma'am once. So don't worry, next week I'll shave said every girlfriend I've ever had. <laughs> Girls lie. Let's get eaten. So today I'm really nervous because we are going to be eating kid cuisine, which I've never ever had in my life. I know people are probably surprised. They're like, oh Shane, weren't you white trash? How have you never had kid cuisine? I was white trash, but this is like a level of white trash that I think only 5% of the population get to. This is like getting toenails for Christmas. This is like walking into mommy and daddy having sex and then they say, want to join? Like it's real trash. <laughs> Fake trash. Okay, so I'm really nervous. I don't know which one to start with. They all look awful. All right, I'm just going to close my eyes and grab one. I'm going to start with, oh no. All right, I'm gonna be super real right now. Uh, this one already opened because last night, you know, about midnight, I got a little depressed, a little lonely, you know, swiping on Tinder, not seeing much. Connected with somebody on Bumble and then they disconnected. And I saw that this had a brownie in it, so I ate it, but I didn't try the rest. Okay, so this is Magical Cheese Pizza. Honestly, the magical part is that I didn't wake up with diarrhea and an upset stomach from that brownie. So, we're already killing it on the magic. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what? What is that? That's a pizza? Oh my god, I've been watching Skin Tight. Have you seen that show where they like take all the fat people and then they lose weight and then they cut off all their extra skin? Skin Tight! Sir, would you like to see the boob skin we removed? Here it is. Why do they do that? I don't want to see that. When I had my boob skin removed, he showed it to me and my mom and my mom passed out. I think she was just shocked because it was so much bigger than hers. All right, here we go. Trying this out. It has no smell. <laughs> like, like zero smell. This is, this is interesting. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, mmm. Thank you, doctor. This boob skin <laughs> is real salty. Mmm. Did I go running before you cut this off? Is that sweat I taste? Oh, oh my god. Oh, I never want to eat skin tight again. I would honestly rather eat I am jazz. Next, chicken nuggets. Thank fuck. Ooh, these are called the all-star chicken nuggets. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your nuggets cause mom can't cook. Hey now, you're a rock star. If you eat this, you'll be obese. Then you grow up and never stop talking about how you used to be fat. Seriously, you won't. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> Hold up. What is, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like some juicy juice coming out of that pudding. Ooh. Rap song. Oh my god, I can make it breathe. <sighs> Holy fuck. Okay. Oh, all the juices are mixing. Oh, the smell of it all. Oh! This is a collection of smells, really. This is kind of like a sampler of like a lot of different perfumes. Now, I like this because like you can treat each of these as a dipping option. Like, watch. You could take your nugget, you could dip it in your mac and cheese, and then you could dip it in your pudding, and then you could just dip that shit in your corn, and look what you got. Honestly, something I probably would have eaten last night at midnight. Cheers to being sad and alone! I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's gum. <laughs> that is gum. Oh my God. Something about the mix of the salty and the sweet and the chunky and the what, all of that together kind of filled the hole in my heart. I should eat this whole thing. It's time for some pop star chicken and fries. What pop star would this be? Is Harper from Wizards of Waverly Place a pop star? Cause I feel like this is her. If Selena Gomez was a frozen food, who? She would definitely be DiGiorno. Like, is this delivery? Is this Gomez? You know what I mean? Do you remember the brother on the Wizards of the Waverly Place? He had a huge dick. Like, not that I was looking, but it was very big and they didn't cover it. Like, he'd walk around the set and like his dick would be popping out and Harper would be like, oh, 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 go! And all I can think about is her choking on it. I don't know. Everything is not what it seems to do, 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 do. Chicken! Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. What the hell are these? These are supposed to be fries. All right, well, they smell like popping cooking, so. Look at these little baby chickens. That's cute. More corn. I don't know why they think kids like corn. They don't. I don't know if this is pudding or if this is a brownie or whatever this is. I don't know, I'm eating it. Let's stick the fry in the chop. That's, <laughs> that made a skin. Okay, look at that. It's like I'm actually rubbing its skin off. Oh, sorry girl, hold on. Okay. And then we're just going to dip that back into the corn. I'm just gonna do it again because I feel like last time it worked out. <laughs> you know what? It did not work out this time like it did last time. What the fuck is that? Hold on, that is not pudding. That's ice cream. What? How do you put this in the microwave? Honestly, that's some science. 
All right, I already know what the chicken tastes like, man. Perfect one. Chicken good. I mean, it's not chicken. It's probably, honestly, this old penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy if the mascot for food was the food? Like if the mascot for Subway was a sandwich, you know, instead of a pedophile, and the mascot for like Domino's was like a little pepperoni, or the mascot for McDonald's was throw up, like that would be crazy. Next, <gasps> finally, some good old mac and cheese with fruit snacks and corn. <laughs> oh my God. They make it look so fun too. Like if I saw this box in the store, I'd be like, mommy, give me that. And then mommy would go, no, you're gonna eat beans like the rest of us. <laughs> I love Sunday nights. All right, ooh, this one has like a toy on it. That was so fucking loud. Kid Cuisine, you gonna need to shut the fuck up. You need to calm down. This is a card, I don't, can't eat it. So, useless to me. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna say something nice. I do love the packaging. I think the blue is really cool. Um, I think it's fun, but like what's on the inside is trash. So, me. <laughs> nice packaging, garbage. All right, I already know what the macaroni tastes like. You know what, let's just take a brick. Mmm, <laughs> I love a good macaroni sandwich brick. <laughs> you know what? It's not that bad. Mm. <laughs> if I cooked it, which I didn't because I'm lazy, I'd eat it. Now the fruit snacks pisses me off a little bit. I feel like all the other ones have like brownies or cookies or ice cream. You're gonna need me damn fruit snacks. One green one. Every time I meet somebody who actually likes fruit snacks, it literally makes me question everything about them. Like I was shooting this movie and uh, this finder guy was with me and he was just like, yo man, you know where Craft Services? And I'm like, oh yeah, it's over there. They have like Doritos, they have burritos. Oh my God, they have everything. And then he was like, yeah, but do they got Welch's fruit snacks? Welch's fruit snacks? What are you, five? And then he took a bag and he ate the whole thing and he wouldn't stop talking about how lit it was and how it was flames and fire. I wanted to light myself on fire. I wanted to take his fucking hoverboard and shove it up his ass and ride him around the set. I don't know why I'm so angry. He was a very nice boy. All right, let's try this. Okay. <laughs> Reverse, these are good. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. Now I get it. These are good. I haven't had these since I was like five. I don't hate these. Oh shit. Sorry, Barner boy. I still want to ride you like a hoverboard though. Well, yeah, guys, go. That was me trying kid cuisines. I went through a lot of emotions. I went through a lot of trauma. I went through a lot of childhood experiences. Why can't I just eat? You know what I mean? Why do I have to eat and have therapy and fuck up my brain and think about death so much? You do not want to go on a dinner date with me. It is depressing. <laughs> All right, you guys, hope you have fun here. If you have fun here with you, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I make new videos every single day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm living with this ghost, right? So I come to terms with it. I'm like, okay, I walk downstairs and I'm like, hey Gary, making up a name. We're trill, you know, like, this house is like lit as fuck, like we're fire, like we're cool, right? Like using all the vine terms, trying to like be chill with him.